My name is Steven Noss, better known as Weaven Steven from Dominique's Hair Studio in the heart of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Then, if I had to describe myself, I would probably call myself loud. All right. All right. Black hair is my specialty. Nice and long. <laughs> nice. You want white girl hair? Absolutely. Some fantasy hair. Fantasy hair is hair that's made into shapes and designs and objects. And I'm also the creator of the very first ever flying hairdo. This is hair artistry at its best. He's in a local way. These earrings do not mask. He does whatever he wants. Ain't no fun like a Dominique's party. Steven Noss, and you are swapping with Melanie Shelley from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Oh my God, am I going to be a cowboy? Boy. Yeah! Wow, <laughs> what kind of place is this? Let's see how I can adjust to this. Because <laughs> you know, I'm so used to just <clears throat> marching up into work like, mm, okay, here I am. Nice to meet you. you. Nice I'm Callie. Hi, Callie. His look is just totally different from anybody that comes in here at all. It is the gold teeth, it's the whole rap culture gang to that. The clients are probably going to be floored. They're going to be totally, totally shocked. Read it over when you get a chance. A handbook. The hell am I going to do with a handbook? You can't wear tennis shoes except on Sunday. You can't wear denim except for on Sunday. And you can't have your cell phone on the floor at all. Whatever. My cell phone is my lifeline. I handle a lot of business, you know, as far as hair goes. Of course it's ringing all the, all the time because I have a big clientele. I have a lot of media connections. Everybody wants me. I don't know if I'm going to live without my cell phone. I'm a nonconformist, okay? And I cannot go buy a handbook. I'm not a Cub Scout. That bitch went in the garbage. What do you think? I think I'm starting to look like you, <laughs> okay? And actually, once I looked at the shirt, it looked like a 70-year-old man on a golf course in the Bahamas. It's ugly as hell. Your culture. And the very first change we're going to make in this salon, no rules. Melanie would have probably freaked out. And the biggest surprise of all today is I have a special gift for everybody from me. <laughs> everybody must wear gold grills. <laughs> Once I laid down all the laws, which were none, I ordered lunch. Chicken wings for everyone. <laughs> Melanie would kill us. <laughs> Guess what, Melanie's not here. <laughs> On no rule day, I saw gum chewing, people wearing flip-flops, people wearing blue jeans. I saw people dancing, I saw music being played really loud. It was chaos. Melanie would have probably freaked out. I would never sit around and think about the rules all day like these people do. Who has time for it? Let's be creative. This is Hi. Joanne Cash. Hi. She's very nice to meet you. <laughs> she is Johnny Cash's sister. She likes big hair. Number one, I'm a pastor's wife. I'm going from here to a church uh, function. Are you a patriotic woman? Yes, very much. Very patriotic? Yes. Okay, well, I think I have a very special fantasy hairstyle for you today. A fantasy hairstyle. When Joanne Cash came in for her makeover, I um, was a little worried because she's like Nashville royalty. It's going to be exciting. It's probably going to be the most exciting hairstyle you've ever had in your life. Oh, I'm sure of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cash's sister. I'm his youngest sister. Oh, you're his youngest sister. Yes, sir my surprise client, Joanne Cash, of all people. I'm really excited that um, I'm getting to do Johnny Cash's sister's hair. Well, if he were here, he'd say, let me see what they're going to do to you, baby. <laughs> okay, bobby pin's ready. And before I started her, I made sure that I asked her if she was patriotic, because I knew what I was going to do. Ooh. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Yeah, she did say like six times that she had to go to church tonight and that she was a pastor's wife and oh my god. So how are you feeling right now? Uh, like someone needs to salute me. Oh my goodness, I have a flag in my hair. I have a feeling I look just like a flag. 
My husband is watching. This is not what I do every day. Are you ready for the reveal? I don't know, am I? Okay. <gasps> oh! Well, she told me she loved, loved big hair, but I think when I turned her around, she got skid marks in her pants. I had no idea you was gonna do this. I thought that the finished product was over the top. I thought it was kind of tacky. I can't wear this to church. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. I don't think she ever imagined that her hair would look like that. Oh, my word. My daughter is going to shoot me. It's, um... It's not for me. No, not at all. It is fantasy, all right. I don't think Stephen listened. I felt so sorry for her. If Johnny could see me now. Behind Stephen's back, we took good care of her. We made sure that the American flag, spectacular, went away. <laughs> I'm going to church now, so I need to look a little, little different than that. <laughs> don't spend so much time on rules. Focus on hair and creativity, because that's the business you're in. Wow.